Hey there, peeps. This is Jesse with Green Eyed Ambition, where I love talking to service-based businesses, mostly for those of you that are in the event industry. I love talking about all things about systems, optimization, and scaling your business. We are all about making additional money and doing it without losing our sanity. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be digging into how to set up a foundation of success for 2024 by using your information from 2023. As I always say, it's important to know your data so that you know the decisions that you want to make in your business, because if we're not tracking it, then what are we doing? Over the past couple of weeks, I've been having great conversations with clients as well as some of my Instagram community about goal setting. So today's video is going to really help challenge you to think about setting your goals for 2024. One of the things that I always talk about is keeping track of data so you know what worked and what did not work. And heading into 2024, I decided to really sit down and look at my data and get clear about what I really want my business to go after, as well as what I really don't want it to do. Um, as you know, for those of you that are aware, I still have my own event planning company that I've been doing now for 14 years. I started doing the business consulting stuff within the last two years, and it's been a great opportunity to use my pre my experience with running my own company to help y'all with growing your businesses. So I'm going to give you some things to think about when it comes down to analyzing the data that you have from 2023 and how to utilize this going into 2024. Please don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed by me saying data. You have to be present to the fact that most corporations, they hire people that are data analysts because they understand that you have to track information to understand where your business is going. You may just be starting out or you may be in business for some time. However, you are looking to find ways to be able to start keeping yourself more organized and keeping track of this information. Wherever you are, be it a newbie or someone that's more established, there's always something to learn when it comes to understanding what you're doing in your business and how to do it better. So when we start digging into goal setting for 2024, one of the first things that I recommend, and we even discussed this in the challenge called Unlock Your Financial Roadmap, was the importance of looking at your goals from 2023 and reflecting on what happened and what did not happen in the previous year. You want to look at any milestones or achievements that occurred or maybe what you may have viewed as a learning lesson. I never say setbacks. We don't do setbacks on this side. Um, we always just say learning lessons because there's always something you can learn um, down there's always something you can learn in your entrepreneurial journey. When you take time to look at that type of information, you may be very surprised at what you were able to accomplish. And don't look at only the big things. There are small things in which you can also celebrate along the way. Once you take time to look over your 2023 success and challenges, utilize that as a benchmark for setting goals for 2024. Do not allow anything that can be potentially looked at as a negative to get, to shape your goals for 2024. Just look at how you can learn from them so you can make a more strategic plan going into this year. So make sure that you look at your goals from a strategic standpoint so that you're clear about what capacity you have when it comes to everyday activities as well as just performing your skills and your services. So if you know currently right now you may have a full-time job or maybe you do your company full-time but it's only you right now. What happens if you had double the amount of clients? If you don't necessarily currently have a team that's available right now to, to, to handle that, by only looking at the revenue, that may be misleading. It's important to understand the capacity that you have when you're setting your goals so that you are actually able to create goals that are attainable or put into place steps that need to happen so that you can hit those goals. So one of the things that I have in my event business is that I'm going to, I have a plan to bring on at least five new event coordinators. 
I also have a goal for a specific amount of growth in our territories. If I wasn't in the mindset of thinking that I need to bring on five extra people, me trying to go into an extra territories will probably be extremely difficult. So this is why you want to be clear about what is necessary and what it may cost you to be able to do that. Uh, and then, then you can really think about what strategy needs to occur. Once you set those goals, set timelines because that will help you with seeing how you want to spread this out over the year. As much as I would love all this stuff to happen tomorrow, I still have to execute events today as well as run my consulting agency at this time period. So I have to create um, a realistic timeline to be able to not stress myself out or burn myself out because that's not sexy. I, I don't desire that for myself and I definitely don't desire that for you. So be realistic about what timeline you want to set to go after those goals. The second thing you want to do is identify opportunities when it comes to goal setting. So look at in 2023 opportunities that maybe you've found yourself with needing to improve marketing. So what are some things you can do to improve your marketing? Is it going to networking events? Is it looking into running ads? Is it hiring someone to do your social media? That can be a way or an opportunity to grow in that area. Or like how I given I have given you the example, one of the opportunities that I'm looking to is growing with my team. So if you are looking to grow or whatever your goal is going into this year, you want to be present to what are some opportunities that you can look at possibly improving your work funnel. So for those of you that are still doing things manually, you know how I feel about that. Uh, so that can be a potential opportunity for you potentially to improve and optimize that so that you can handle more clients. Or it can be opportunities to um, collaborate and partner with people. Whatever your goal is, I always recommend you never want to set more than three goals because with those three goals, most people have a bunch of micro goals. And then what happens is that we'll set seven big goals in a year and it's only us and we still have to do the day-to-day -day stuff in our business. So we find ourselves not being able to really put our effort into those seven big goals, where if you set, you know, two to three big goal or two to three major goals, then you can think about what subsets of those goals you're going to focus on at specific time periods so that you're not setting yourself up to be overwhelmed. So look at those two to three main goals and then think about where are some opportunities to improve? Who do you need to know? What do you need to focus on? What do you need to learn so that you're able to become a master or improve your skill sets to help with hitting the goals in which you've set for yourself? And the third thing you want to now do is once you have this data, you want to take time to actually create a strategic plan. Having a goal without a plan will leave you very frustrated. I know we've all fell victim and hey, I've been that girl too. And once I realize, you know what? I feel a lot more empowered when I have a plan. I can follow a plan. However, if I'm not clear about what I need to do at what frequency, it becomes very overwhelming. So this is why I recommend you taking time to create a strategic plan. If you're watching this video and it's no longer January, that is fine. You can start this today. Take time. Give yourself the ability to sit here and look at your goals. Look at opportunities in which you can potentially improve through your planning. And then you want to create a strategic plan. Me saying that I want to just make more money or I want to get into new industries or I want to be able to expand our territory is one thing. But how am I going to go about doing it? Yes, we do not want to get stuck with the how because I do understand some of you may be over analyzers, no judgment, because we all have our thing. Um, but if that is you, don't get so stopped by the how I would just understand at least why this why this matters, what you're going to do on a micro level or I would say a macro level so that you can start to track it. 
Like one of the things that we do in our business and our event business, I set a goal on the amount of consultations that I want to get scheduled on a weekly basis. That is a result. But I have to then create a strategic plan to attract those people. So one of the things that we're focusing on is being more consistent on our LinkedIn, as well as outreach calls and appointments. So we have a strategy that we're going to do. And it's really a strategy that I used to use um, a lot prior to the pandemic. (laughs) But now we're here a couple of years later um, and I'm getting back to the basics. Once I I. Through my consistency, I've been able to learn what works and what does not work in my industry or my niche with what I do in the corporate space. You probably have a different type of clientele and a different focus. That doesn't matter. The biggest thing you want to look at is what strategic plan you're going to set. So if it's doing YouTube videos, if it's doing pop-ups, if it's doing vendor spaces, if you're going to go to networking events, If you're going to use a CRM platform, whatever you're planning on doing, that's totally fine. However, create a plan along the way and using something like um, a tracker to help you be present to what you're saying you're going to do. Because once you create that plan, you can move forward. If you are finding yourself stuck on how to go about creating a plan or how to understand the goals inside of your business, this is why I did the partnership with Michelle at Master Bookkeeping, because I find that if we don't have clarity in that, we'll set these real vague goals without understanding how to go about hitting them. We did record our training so that you can have access to it. If you want to learn more about that training, you can look at the description so that you can get that as a resource for you to be able to understand how to use your data to be able to set your goals. Once you learn how to master it, it will truly excite you to be able to hit your goals because there's a roadmap for you to follow so that you can have success within the year. I would love to hear from you below and let me know what's one of your goals that you have set for your business in 2024. Talk to you later. Peace. 